Now, let's go to Senegal. Basiro Diomaye Faye, which today become Africa's youngest elected president at age 44. Already, top African heads of state and world leaders are converging on Dakar for the presidential inauguration. Arise senior correspondent Ohi Odiai, who is in the capital, has the details. It's been a fairy tale story for a man who, in the build up to the presidential election in Senegal, was still in jail. But in just 10 days to go before the poll, he was released and was able to win more than 54% of votes cast to become Senegal and indeed Africa's youngest president. This is the Commercial Nerve Center in Dakar, Senegal. It's a public holiday where a couple of Senegalese are out enjoying the sun and eagerly looking forward to the inauguration of the country's youngest president. So, what are the expectations for incoming President Faye? It's been, you know, the so awaited date. He, you know, has come for, for Senegalese almost of a week now since this election in which, you know, the, the opposition, uh, the, the most strongest, you know, opposition party has won. So it would be very interesting because it's the inauguration day for for the for the for the incoming president and as you said he is the youngest president in Africa and he, he he was elected you know peacefully and democratically which is very interesting in a sub region where you know coup d'etat has become you know a a, a, play, a a play game Senegal is facing a lot of you know uh, since if you remember since 2021 uh, there was you know there were several you know tension here and riots uh, unrest here that have killed almost according to international NGOs about 60 people here lost their lives during political turmoil so uh, his uh, Basir Jomaifai is inherited a country you know which is divided you know there are a lot there were a lot of tension himself he was victim of this this political persecution him and and, and Usman Sonko both of them were locked up for, for over one year that's that's the one he, he has a, a, a duty to reconcile I mean to to reunite I mean the Senegalese the other challenge is to me which is the biggest one is 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 I mean jobs jobs how to find jobs for the youth here in this country in this country according to to to, to the last to the latest the latest um, uh, survey conducted here so that you know uh, 75 percent of this country are youth uh, they are less than 20, 35 years and they voted him in and they voted for him so you can imagine they are expecting a lot getting job from here and you if you remember since last year about 40 40 thousand people have left this country most of them are youths, you know, for, for you know, for to, to, for tr through the back way. The campaigns are over. Election has been won. And the days, weeks and months ahead will indeed provide a practical opportunity for Basiru Diomaye Faye to prove his mettle as the president. Oh, he or the I, Arise News, Dakar, Senegal. Let's now cross live to Dakar and speak to Ohi Odiai. Good morning, Ohi. Good morning, Dr. Bati. Good morning. Well, it's inauguration day in Senegal, and it should be about uh, past nine now uh, in uh, Senegal, in Dakar. So, how is it going? I yes. see a queue, a long queue behind you. Uh, where exactly are you? And uh, <laughs> are we just still at the arrival? point uh, before the ceremonies begin. What's the situation? Well, we're right in front, exactly, we're right in front of the International Conference Center. Just behind me is where the inauguration itself will be taking place. Like you rightly said, uh, thousands of Senegalese are all around queuing up, going through the accreditation so that they can go into the hall for uh, Today's inauguration of Faye as the next president of Senegal. Many are optimistic, 
many are looking forward to see what Faye can do as the next president of Senegal. Of course, Faye's party is, is called the Pastor Party. A member of that party now, Ibrahima Drame, joins me uh, uh, live on Arise TV. Nice to have you, Ibrahima. What are the expectations like uh, for you as Faye becomes a uh, president today? Well, uh, this is an exciting day and I would say a historical day because uh, as you know, Senegal is one of those few countries in Africa where we have an established democratic tradition. We have elections on time and so on. This one was a little bit fishy and I'm sure everybody is aware of it. So there was a time where we almost lost hope. But thank God with uh, the determination of our people, the support of the international so this is a great day for Senegal and I believe for uh, Africa as a whole. What are your expectations for Faye? He's quite young and some say he doesn't have the requisite experience as a president. Yes, that's what I usually say. Uh, experience is important, but I think judgment is more important than experience. Because you also have experience that is experience in crookery. Okay? <laughs> Who need that kind of experience? So the incumbent has always been pounding that argument that the guy is young, he never held any high position, therefore giving him the country is like giving the country to adventurers. I said, don't look at what people say about themselves, look where they went and see. His short experience is a testimony to what he's going to do as a president. And one thing I wanted to emphasize is our party, PASIF, is not about people, it's about our projects, it's about our ideas. So the person of the president doesn't matter, he's just the flag bearer. We should look at the message, not at the messenger. So how much support do we expect from, from the party? Uh, Knowing uh -huh. he's also gotten the support of the main opposition leader, Sonko. Well, we used to say in Senegalese, Sonko moi joma, joma moi Sonko. Which means that either way you cut it, you, get, you, get, you, you vote for one president, but you actually get two people. So the PASIF uh, as a party is united and is going to throw all its weight behind the, the person. And by the way, let's not forget that uh, Basiru was chosen and designated by Sonko. So if it is Sonko's choice, there is no difference. Okay, yeah. Critics would say, uh -huh. what if that becomes a distraction? Because Sonko becomes like a godfather and says something to Faye, for instance, and Faye as president is unwilling to do. Do we expect some sort of friction? Do I you think they can comfortably work together, given I, their history? Yeah, I don't expect that to happen. And I think it's a fake narrative. You know why? Because people tend to be fixated too much on history. We had a precedent uh, in the 60s when Senghor and Mamadouja uh, were just the two heads of the executive. And it didn't, went, it didn't go very well. We all remember that. It was a disaster. But uh, I also want to say uh, we should look at the setting. Uh, to assume that what happened in the past, the people from Senegal didn't learn from their history, I don't think that makes sense. And I used to uh, pick the example of the United States, where you have President Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as Vice President. Have you ever heard of any feud between them? So why can't we do it? This is Africa. Well, this is Africa, and we're going to prove the world wrong again, like we've done in many cases. Okay. Yeah. So finally, finally from me, in the next couple of days, what do you think are the critical issues Faye should be tackling? Well, it's, it's a long list because these guys have basic, basically demolished the country. We know it. And we don't even know what's going on until we see the numbers. But I'm hopeful that uh, the priority should be uh, giving some sort of relief to the household because the Senegalese households are really going through hell, you know, and that's an understatement. But I think he should focus in finding ways to drive down the cost of living, uh, tackling inflation, of course, which has two sources. Some of it is imported because we, we, we rely too much on what's happening outside. But I think there is also a supply problem, and uh, that will take uh, long-term measures because, you know, it's, 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 that's the reality. But I think he should focus on that. If he can do something to alleviate the burden of the household, that's a good first step. Some of the reforms are going to be structural. We will need time to complete them. But if you have the backing and the trust of people, which I believe we have, so I think we can make it happen. Ibrahim Drami, member of Pastor Party, I want to thank you very much. Pleasure. Yeah. And, and Nigerian around here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So that's it. Uh, expectations high from uh, Senegalese right here at this National Conference Center where uh, Faye will be sworn in shortly in a couple of hours, uh, poised to become the youngest president of, uh, youngest elected president 
of Senegal. It's back well, to you, Dr. Abati. Yes, well, Ohi, if you could just take us through the program. I know that there is uh, the inauguration, uh, uh, the uh, President uh, Sal will leave effectively on April 2, so the constitutional order has been uh, protected. Uh, but there's also going to be the confinement of national honors on uh, the incoming president. Uh, and are they going to have a party in the evening, you know, as we do here in Nigeria? Is that part of the program? You know, they, they have very good jollof rice in Senegal, by the way. It, yes. It <laughs> exactly. I've tasted a couple. <laughs> so, well, um, in the build-up to this inauguration itself, Faye actually wanted a very low-key inauguration. But Mark, you saw already, and, uh, uh, invited one of the top world leaders. So he had no choice uh, but just to comply with uh, the, the ceremony. So after the ceremony in the International Conference Centre in the outskirts of Dakar, there will be yet another at the Presidential Palace. And then later in the evening, there will also be a, a, a dinner. So that's, that's what the outlook like is for the ceremony, to the inauguration for today. Well, it all sounds very exciting and we look forward to bringing updates live from Dakar, Senegal here on Arise News throughout the day as we look at this inauguration of the youngest elected president on the African continent. <laughs>